In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this little foldable work table. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I have all these pieces of wood here. The shorter ones are 22 inches long and the longer ones are 36 inches. And they all measure an inch and a half by three quarters of an inch. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the corners and the band stuff. Shorter pieces, I'm going to drill a three quarter inch hole to fit my dowel just an inch in from the bottom in the center of the strip. And that's just going to be on one end. These longer ones are a little more complicated. There's going to be a hole an inch from the end, just like the shorter ones, but 14 and a half inches from the other side, there's going to be another hole just in the center of the board for all of these. And I'm going to go ahead and drill that out at the drill press. I'll go ahead and give all the pieces a quick sand just with 150 grit on the random orbital sander. When all of your pieces are cut, drilled, and sanded out, you should get something that looks like this, with the two shorter pieces with one hole on the end on the outside, and the two longer pieces with the hole on the end, and then another hole 14 and a half inches from the other end on the inside. I have my three quarter inch dowel, and I just cut up five pieces. I only needed four, but I decided to cut an extra just in case. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue these guys into the holes. Alright, now, the dowel will not be glued into all of these joints, only some of them. I'm just going to be using regular wood glue here. A small dab and in the shorter pieces so two shorter pieces and two longer pieces make up one side of the table and on each side two of the shorter pieces get glue in one joint and two of the longer pieces get uh, dowel and the glue in one joint longer ones however will receive the glue and the dowel in the one that is 14 and a half inches from the bottom. It'll also be a lot easier to clean up any glue squeeze out now just with a damp cloth than it will be once it's dry. Okay, now I'll let this sit and dry and this will make up one of the sides. I just screwed something up. Turns out that dowel was only supposed to be glued into one of the shorter legs and one of the longer legs in each set and I glue them into two of each so two shorter pieces and two longer pieces are going to get their dowels just sort of broken out of them okay scratch that I just screwed that up again I did not glue enough dowels in so let me explain to you how much dowels is going to be in here now all four of the shorter pieces that I cut have dowels on them. Only two of the longer pieces have a dowel in the middle, and two of the longer pieces don't have any dowels at all. So here's how this is going to go together. I'm going to take a shorter piece and put the dowel through like that, and I'm going to take another piece without a dowel in it and put the other shorter piece in it, and then I'm going to put the two together. So when it's open, it will look something like that. But as you can see, this won't close up all the way because these dowels are now in the way, so I'm just going to flush cut these with the hacksaw. What is wrong with me? Oh my god! I'm such an idiot! Shoot! I just cut off the wrong dowel! God dang it! Oh my god, my shop is such a wreck right now. Okay, I have a one inch dowel here, and I just went ahead and found center with just a center finder. And I just made a little divot in there with a scratch all. And I'm just going to go ahead and take a three quarter inch drill bit and drill this out. This is going to be for the handle of the table.
went ahead and wrapped some masking tape just around the edges here because the walls were getting a little thin where the hole was. And I wanted to make sure that this had a little bit of reinforcement to it. And you can see that these two dowels that come out of the side pieces just slip right into the holes on the handle just like that. It took me a lot of failed attempts, but I finally have the dowels figured out in this project. So I'll show it to you guys how this is all going to get put together. Each side has two longer pieces, only one of those has a dowel glued into it, and that I left the full three inches of length on it. And they also have two shorter pieces, and all those two shorter pieces have got a dowel glued into it that only sticks out uh, the width of the material, in my case it's three quarter inch, just from the edge. These all go together like this. The long piece with the dowel in it gets a shorter piece just on the end. And then the inside of that long piece gets another long piece without the dowel. And a shorter piece goes into that. And then the handle just goes on the pieces of three quarter inch dowel that protrude out from the long piece. And that's it. Okay, I have these lower supports here. And these guys measure... 22 inches by seven and a half and I cut two of these and these are just going to go on the bottoms on the end of the legs just to keep everything kind of stiff. Okay I'm going to put just some beads of glue on here to help in the strength of this. Let's go ahead and line this up. I am going to check for square here. Okay just go ahead and pre-drill a few holes for this. Go ahead and put in some screws. Okay, let's see if I can do this without looking like a total idiot. I just set this up on the floor and clamped it in place so that I can put this together and have the seam line up perfectly in the middle. table guys now I think this was more one of those videos like how not to do something you know it does stand as a table and it's actually pretty sturdy but when I try to fold it back up that right there is about as much as it'll fold down to so it doesn't really fold on all the way Carl Jacobson did a much better job his folded down completely flat I don't really know where I went wrong with this I I have no idea why it won't fold down. It's just really tight, so I don't know. But I did find one really good use for this. First of all, this will be a really good workbench for when my workbench gets really cluttered up. This is going to be good for assembling pens on when I need a nice, clean, clear space to work on. This is going to be good for that. But check out this. It is a really good height to be a table saw outfeed table. Um, now, I will keep it here, just in between the two ways here on my table saw, um, just so I can sort of kick stuff off to the side on, like, push sticks and cross-cut slides and stuff like that. But if I move it around back to the table saw, it makes a good outfeed table, so that's what I'll be using this for. There will be a link in the description to Carl Jacobson's video on how he did this, and go check out that, because he did a much better job than I did, and he explained it a little better than me. So, if you want to see, um... A better version of this, go down there and check it out.